welcome to today's session of programming in uh, python uh, in the pre preceding classes we have learned uh, functions modules decision making and loops and many other basic concepts and today's session shall be uh, focusing on classes and object uh, in the classes and object uh, it is just a style of programming uh, just like you have a concept of function uh, whose use more efficient and uh, more readable uh, the same way even the uh, use of classes and object so the broadly this classes and object is uh, termed under the uh, object oriented program which is also called as oop okay it is nothing but object oriented programming as you can see as the name suggests it's a object oriented so it's it's kind of a style or you can say you know the approach towards programming is mostly as an object now you must be wondering what an object is then i would say uh, correlating with the everyday examples uh, like a car uh, so car is kind of a concept or a electrical architecture or you know a, a good engineering isn't it however when it comes to a bmw car or a jaguar car or a land rover car or a maruti suzuki or toyota uh, you take any model of those you can term them all, all although all of them are a car but when you consider each of them the individual specific cars then they could be termed as objects or the instances okay uh, or you can say they are uh, uh, the examples isn't it it's a car which you can say a blueprint okay you can say a blueprint or you can say template okay because if you have the technology or the methodology or the ways to build a car you can build any kind of car you can you know you all the all the uh, changes that you have to do the, the only thing that is going to differ whether it's a color of the car you know uh, you make a blue car or a red car or whether you Uh, put the engine uh, at the at the in the front or the back, uh, or you you know uh, whether the car has the sunroof or it doesn't have a sunroof. All these are configurations. All these are attributes of different cars, which could be different. But at the core, all the cars are same. They are built using the same technology or the same blueprint, or you can say same template, right? Exactly. So, correlating it with this particular real life example. if i were to tell you what an object in the object oriented programming is uh, and what a class is an object is then i would say the car can be termed as a class and object or or and then i can say you know say jaguar f pace can be termed as one object i can say tata i can say maybe tata nexon xms now this is one specific model isn't it it can be termed as another object object 2 okay and then i can say maybe um land rover l663 okay maybe this can be termed as oh i'm sorry this is not object 24 it is object 2 and this is object 3 all right the only thing that is differing in this is of course these car could be built using this particular technology this class however these are objects you can say these are individual objects in which what is different the brand is different the uh, you know could be the color could be the different could be the model year could be the different uh, could be the uh, country in which they are manufactured it could be different right so that's what all the whole the concept of classes and object is okay uh if i were to uh, i mean make you visualize in a more better way then what i would do is let me create a template here for example suppose this is a word template or you can say this is a one form a, a form perhaps a banking form which you need to fill okay this is one empty form which has many fields to be filled right this has many fields to be filled if i give this form to a person a he is going to fill this up okay so when you fill this up 
when you fill this form up what's going to happen is the name which is filled in this form is going to be different the parental name is going to be different the date of birth is going to be different the address is going to be different in a similar way when this same form is filled by another person it's going to be different form and the person third person again it's going to be a different form but this at the core all these forms all these forms which you see here how they have the same basic template they have the same basic template which is here so you can say that this is class okay this is class and these are objects okay you can say this is object 1 this is object 2 and this is object 3 object this is object 4 okay so these are different objects which have the different properties or attributes uh the real life example is good so far but however uh, let's try to correlate this with now the programming concept now let's see let's try to see how do we develop a class in program how do we develop an object in program and how do we use it in the programming context okay just like uh, and before i uh, start on to that uh, let me tell you that uh, in this object oriented programming uh, before we develop objects all this while you had been developing the data types right you must be developing five here uh data is 5 or maybe i can say data 2 as list right this was also a way to create a list i'm sure you have learned this way to create a list but you can also create a list like this if this is an initializing an empty list then this is also a way to initialize an empty list if not list you can also initialize a empty string like this and the other way to initialize the empty string is like this like this all right uh now you must be wondering after creating an empty string like this or after creating a list uh, the other way how do we have the methods like these data dot replace you remember we we used to uh, you know if i if i were to replace a content in a string i would use this method if i have to count any certain characters i would use this correct let me tell you that in python all these data types they are not data types effectively they are objects okay they are objects which are being created by the class str class string and when it is uh when we were creating a list when we were initializing and creating a list we are actually creating an object okay we are creating an object from a blueprint or in from a template right uh if it is not clear to you or if it is confusing don't worry let's first learn the object oriented programming let's first learn how do we create classes how do we create object and then it would all make sense to you what i'm talking about what is this str and what is this list all right okay uh let's first see how do we create a class and then let's going to see we are going to see how are we going to create an object from the class but before we uh, create a class let me quickly revise how do we create a function so i'm sure you would write a function Uh, starting with a keyword def def means define and you would write uh, maybe function name right and then followed by colon and then the body whatever is contained in a body just like this and just like any other concept in python like you would start a while loop like this and you would put condition and then body and when it comes to decision making you would put the keyword if and then the condition and then the body right in a similar way when it comes to making uh, you know the uh, dealing with the concepts of classes and object you write the keyword class and then you're going to name a class name for example let me create a class person okay and then i'm going to put a colon and then i'll put body uh, see at the moment i do not have uh, anything to put i can so i, I what i'm going to do i'm going to put pass so whether it's a function or uh, decision making uh, we are ideally supposed to write <clears throat> some of the other content where, uh, whenever we use this concept but if i don't have anything to write if i don't have anything to fill here i can just write pass okay that also work so if i have to create 
uh, now this is like creating a class okay now if i have to create a uh, object out of it i'm going to create uh, maybe arun okay not arun maybe i can say student 1 1 equal to person okay and then in a similar context i'm going to write student 2 as a person now the other uh, easy way to understand what a class and object is then uh, it is a wise on our part to uh, you know to consider that not all the data are simple as 5 or 10 or 15 and not all the data are just limited to some alphabets or uh, numerical data some are complex data for example person who is a person it's a human right a human may have you know considering a human itself as a data it has so many thing as a data it has a hair color it has the eyes it has a behavior it has the skin tone it has the citizenship the name the parental lineage so many data you can associate right how are you going to store that data uh, it becomes very difficult to uh, store such complex data in a dictionary or a list of course list and dictionary are one way to store the data but class is another way to hold your data uh, as a it's a different structure which we are going to learn okay so right now this is a way to create a class okay if i run this it's all going to be fine uh, nothing happens here right now what i'm going to write here here i'm going to write uh, maybe genome as mammal okay so this is like a template or a blueprint in which i am defining one attribute as genome equals to mammal that means this is one attribute this is you can say it's a global attribute which gets passed on to every uh, student that is being created so when i am saying person and when i am uh, putting this parenthesis Uh, it looks like a function call but here person is not a function person is a class and here what's happening is it's the initialization of a uh, it's a instance instantiation of a class okay what is instantiation it's like an instance is being cre created or an example is being created yeah uh, or an object is being created so the uh, the moment you instantiate python immediately jumps to this class and it creates one person and it to that person it associates that the genome is going to be mammal and that is student 1 when it comes to student 2 another example or another instance of that person is going to be created okay so now here if i print here say student 1 dot genome remember this is how we access the uh, attribute okay and if i print this you are going to see that it says mammal right and in a similar way if i print student2 dot genome and if i run this you will see mammal right so they are not same they are two different individual uh, persons student1 is different student2 is different and uh, they however they both are being created by this same architecture or the same template right since this is a common attribute and that is why both of the students when you try to access their genome attribute both of them are printing mammal i'm pretty sure you must be having a question that what if they have certain attributes which are individual to them yeah which are very specific to them for example student one name could be michael and student two name could be aliza then what happens uh, how do you give this how do you store a specific data there to do th to do that there is a method called as initialization okay within a person within the class you are going to write something like def double underscore in it i n i t okay in it means initialization and then followed by another double underscore okay and then here you are going to write self okay why am i writing self here is see every time i am creating uh, a student a individual person is getting created right so self means that while some person is being under construction or under development any attribute which are being defined under this initialization 
that is very specific to that corresponding student so if student 1 was under development then uh, whatever uh, you know the attribute we are going to define now shortly are applicable to student 1 when it is about student 2 then whatever we are going to define here will be applicable to student 2 okay uh, if you are not understanding then let's see okay here i am going to write self dot say name okay uh, please remember please memorize this is the syntax so this is the way how you have to write um, why it's it's because the python development community or the uh, python developers have defined the syntax and here i'm going to so we have to follow that so here i'm going to write x or then comma y okay x and y are nothing but they are the just like in functions you have parameters so in initialization you are writing two parameters so when you create a person uh, you know for for that person's initialization it is expecting two individual contents okay here i'm write x here i'll write self dot h okay and i'm write y fine now when i'm calling this particular class or when i'm instantiating this class i should give here say michael okay comma say 30 and here i'm going to give aliza comma say 50 okay oh that's too such a uh, elderly age let me give something young young 32 yeah that's fine so what's happening here is for student 1 student 2 genome i am printing then printing mabel but let me print here student 1 comma so if i am printing comma and very next to it if i am printing then things get printed side by side okay so i'll write here name and here i am going to write oh okay right if i run this you will see that it says mammal michael 30 and mammal aliza 32 so what happened is something which you are defining at the global level that gets passed on to as a common thing or a common attribute to both of them okay uh, both the students however anything that i am writing in this structure in it okay what happens is so when i am when i am when python comes at this so what's happening is you are instantiating person yeah uh, and you are making a student one so when you instantiate person you are providing two data within parentheses that is michael and 30 so what happens is python comes here and uh, to the student one it is going to give this common uh, attribute that is mammal into genome and when it comes to initialization that means it is initializing only student one okay it is initializing only student 1 with this data so michael comes into x and 30 is coming into y and self dot name is stored as michael and self dot age is stored as y and that is why when i am writing accessing here so to access a objects attribute so student 1 is an object right student 2 is an object so when i am accessing student 1's name and when i am accessing accessing student 1's age it is unique a unique which was initialized here right and in a similar way when student 2 was being built aliza was stored into name and 32 uh, was stored into age right so that is why when i am printing this i am getting michael uh, a mammal michael 30 and mammal aliza 32 yeah this is how so this is how you define a class and using the class you can build as many uh, objects as you want so this was a very basic structure how you create an object using a class uh so that is all about it in the next class we are going to look further into classes concepts and the object concepts and what all uh you can do the further concepts like inheritance okay however this being the basic concepts of creating defining and the classes and how to create object using this class right